taking a slow trip with a dugout canoe on a lovely lake. Admiring mysterious caves and letting our imagination run away with you. Enjoying local dishes and experiencing local life. It is not any beauty, it's the charm offered by Babe Lake. Today, I'm in Babe National Park and I'm hoping to have uncover the secrets that lie within. My name is Francis Sparks and I'm from Stadheim, South Africa. And welcome to another installment of Vietnam Discovery. Let's go. My first stop is Pak Noi village, five kilometers from Babe National Park's administrative center. Located on the side of Leng River, next to Babe Lake, Pak Noi is a quiet, beautiful village. It is home to over 80 households with nearly 400 residents, most of whom are from the Tay ethnic group. Wow, these houses are truly magnificent. All this old carving and woodwork. Chào anh. Dạ. Chào. Vào đây, vào đây uống nước. Vâng. Vào đây. Homestays run by the local Thai people have a popular accommodation option. You just need to make a booking and you'll receive a warm welcome from the locals. I choose a bicycle to begin my explorations. The bike's a bit small for me, but the stunning scenery and fresh air give me boundless energy. These steps will take me to a site not far from Pak Moi village. It's known as the Lonely Mountain as it is rarely visited. Now this cave over here is called Huat Ma Cave. And the, the story behind the name, I don't know but literally it translates to the head of the horse. Now I'd like to invite you to come with me and go and check it out. Let's see what this world holds for us. Hello! Ah, I'm speaking to the cave and the cave's speaking back to me. Wow, I can see this cave is really big. I feel like a small speck of dust in the big universe right now. Huat Mak Cave ceiling in some places is 40 to 50 meters high. The dim light in the caves make me feel like Peter Pan with an adventure in the mythical world. Walking in the cave, I can see many stalactites in different shapes. Once again, these stalactites are so amazing. It looks almost like the back of a dragon. Dripping water creates a steady sound that makes me think about the persistent ticks of time and makes me consider 
how long it takes for the nature to form caves such as this. Right here we can see the beginning of a stalagmite forming. Now if you touch it, it's nice and smooth and it's wet because obviously it forms from the sediment that comes in the water that drop, drops onto the stalagmite. Wow, look at this one. It almost looks like the head of a lion. Now, I'm gonna see how far we can go into this cave. And if we're lucky, perhaps we can find another way out. I really hope so, because I don't uh, feel up for climbing all those stairs again. Few tourists visit this cave, so I can take time to admire the beautiful stalactites. This cave is pretty big and stretches on quite a way. I've been walking for a long time, but I still haven't reached the end. Oi, oi, oi. So, this time I seem to be very unlucky because this seems to be the end of the road. But I can tell you one thing, it was definitely worth it coming all this way to see this. I can recommend this for anybody. Come and check it out, it's really amazing. For generations, local Thai people have lived around Babe. They traveled by wooden dugout canoes and fished there. Today, I will try their work with the help of Zhang, the friendly homestay owner. Extremely difficult to keep my balance, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Okay. Right now, I'm still just going in circles. I think I figured it out how to move, but not how to turn. Sin Loi Ang. Sin Loi, Sin Loi. body as low as you can when you try and get back into the kayak, back into the dugout. Then the chances of it not filling up too much is pretty good. Here we go. I guess this is my seat for the remainder of this fishing trip. Babe is in fact three lakes linked, which has a total length of eight kilometers and a width of about 400 meters. The deepest point of the lake is 35 meters. There are nearly 50 species of freshwater fish. Ở đây có nhiều loại cá lắm. Lưới của mình đang thả đây là chủ yếu là bắt cá mương. Còn kích cỡ nếu mà to hơn là bắt cá chép này, cá mè này. Anh ngồi mấy giờ tu lưới? Tầm khoảng 7 giờ 7 rưỡi là bắt đầu là thả xong là anh về nhà. Về nhà là sáng sớm, tầm 4 giờ, 4 rưỡi là anh lại dậy để mà đi thu lưới.
In the evening, our elderly host is cooking a rice dish. Wow, that has a very nice smell. It reminds me of something I used to smell in my own mother's kitchen. Cái dây bà làm bánh à, Cái này là coi là củ dậy mẹ Mẹ xong là mới dậy bà Đến ngày Tết thì làm bánh lá ngải lên dâng lên ông củ trên bàn Bây giờ thì có có khách du lịch Thì uh, thứ bảy chủ nhật thì cứ làm đi bán Bán? Ừ, đấy That smells wonderful. Nào, xem mới tín chưa? Mm. Ngon. Ừ, ngon quá. It's very hot. But it tastes amazing. Hải bôi, mỡ ăn, không nhìn gạo dính cối. As the rice and the wormwood has been prepared, we'll move to the most exciting step in the making of the Thais rice cake. Oh, I seem to be going too fast here. I need to slow down so not to mess any of this great sticky rice and wormwood. Nó còn nóng thì phải giá nhanh, giá khỏe Nhắc khỏe <cười> It smells almost kind of like green tea But I'm pretty sure this cake is gonna be awesome I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting tired now Oh, gee, oh Oh, I think my arms do not want to obey my body right now. Oh, sorry, oh. Mặt quá. The lady tells me that there isn't any secret in making this cake. She just keeps grinding the rice and the wormwood until they are blended into a, a green, sticky mixture. Okay. So we make it nice and flat, almost like a pancake. Get our sesame seed there, put it in the center. Here we go. And then wrap it all oil. I think I put too much in there. Mm. Ngon. Ăn thì hết thì ăn nữa đi. Ăn được cứ ăn đi. Của nhà mình làm ra thôi. It's really lovely. It's something that I've never tasted before and I was involved in making it. So I think that makes it taste just that little bit sweeter. Really, I think you should all come and try this. New day has come, and we go see what we've caught. Sam, hôm nay Sam có được nhiều hay được ít này? Okay, so right now he's busy retrieving the weight that he uses to weigh down the fishing net, and now he's slowly retrieving the fishing net. I hope we've got to have some fish in there. Cá gì đấy? Đây là cá mương à? Cá mương à? Cá mương đấy. Cá này chỉ loại cỡ to bằng này thôi. Đấy, vừa vừa. Cá này nướng ngon lắm. Em sang á. Thế ngồi vừa đấy thôi, ở đấy thôi. Ừ. 
Mad Zoy. Mad Zoy. Under Zhang's agile hands, we've soon caught some fish. There we go, another one in the boat. Hôm nay anh em mình được tầm khoảng hai cân, hai ba cân đấy, cá đấy. I'm lucky enough to visit Babe while a market is taking place. Markets only take place every five days in this area. We will manage to sell our fish and get something to eat later. Well, the market is really busy. As you can see, it's just difficult walking through here. We have to arrange the fish so it's in a nice, uh, attractive way so that people will hopefully buy our fish. Not just one, but all. I also learn a simple sentence in the Thai language and call out for customers to buy our fish. I hope we're successful. At any market, people love to bargain, but more importantly, local women are very strict about the quality. So she's a very strict customer. She's taught me a lot about selling fish. Not only do you have to be fresh fish, but you have to look in their eyes to see the eyes must be clear and you must check the gills to see that there's nothing in there and there's nice and fresh fish. So not only did I sell fish, I learned something today as well. Come on, Chi. Time for a breakfast. Which dish is mine? I enjoy Zhang's recommendation. Actually, I'm quite hungry after all that work. Let's eat and get back to the village. More adventures awaits. I visit a stilt house which is located near my guest house and are welcomed by a young couple. They will be the guides for my next cultural exploration. Ciao em. Ciao anh. Ciao anh. Xin chào. Xin chào. Xin chào. Tài ngộ. Living alongside the lakes, the local Thai people excel at making the most of their environment for their living. They also grow rice on the rich valley soil in addition to the fishing. The rice fields surround their village, creating a peaceful and beautiful image. These rice paddy fields are the greenest I've ever seen. Now there's a special secret to that. I hope the lovely couple will be able to give me that secret. Poon Cave is another popular place in the area. It is the place that we should visit during the day. The cave is special because it's about 30 meters high and 300 long and completely passes through a mountain. A navigable river flows through the cave making for an interesting boat trip. I'm sure they're working overtime and making lots of guano. 
Now we're here to collect that guano. Local people believe that bat guano is the perfect natural fertilizer. So I'm here to help. It's getting really hot in these ponchos that we're wearing and this raincoat. White guano all over the floor, so it's almost like it's snowing right in this cave, right here. So I've got my first load of bat guano. There we go, another one. Macqua. Okay, so our bag's full, now we're gonna move on. Oh, it's just so hot in here. I think I'm gonna take a chance and remove my face mask. It's a little bit smelly, but I think I can bear it for the moment being. Are we finished yet? Fong Chua? Yeah. Chua? Dai. Dai? Yeah. Okay. Dai một bao, mới đủ một vụ. Once again, this helps me understand more about Thai people's culture. They really believe in the miracle of the nature, and that's good, as they live in a really big and powerful nature. Two more. Thôi đủ rồi. Okay, rồi. Hard work. Khó lắm. Oh, so heavy. Here we go, I'm like a guano Santa Claus. I hope I don't fall over. Ah, you see, I've made the mistake of touching a rock. Now my hand's full of guano. And some funny insect, I hope it doesn't bite me. is used as fertilizer for the rice fields. Now I know their secret. We do everything by machine in my country, so I feel very strange working like this. However, as I have experienced the most difficult part in the cave, working in the open air is a pleasure in comparison. Okay, so the mud is quite soft. I must say it's a peculiar feeling. I've never walked in a rice paddy field before. Every step feels like a step backwards. Every time you step, it's like... I feel like I'm a duck. Many small butterflies all over the place. It's quite exhilarating. We've come out of our world and into theirs.
đúng rồi lúa mê tuổi bốn tháng bốn tháng bốn tháng là thu hoạch thu hoạch vâng so I feel like a magical wizard sprinkling magic fairy dust all over the crops I hope my fairy dust will help their crop grow extra strong and extra healthy this year. Ba Bé was only recognized as Vietnam's eighth national park in 1992. The beautiful region covers more than 7,000 hectares and boasts waterfalls, rivers, deep valleys, lakes, caves, set amid towering peaks. It's an amazing area, but we've just experienced an introduction to the charms of the area. I hope to return here one day to continue my explorations. See you again one day. <laughs>